Hey guys, and welcome to a new weekly vlog. I know, I can't believe it's happening myself. But it is. So, um, as you see that I have, that I was reading Red River 7 from my, um, from my wrap up. I have finished it because it has been about 24 hours since I yet paused, since I posted that, since I um, did that video. I said that it was, it's execute, sorry, it's premise was five star, it's execution was three star. Nothing has changed. I have finished it. Still a three star book. Um, yeah, I didn't enjoy it as much as I thought I was going to or hope, but I am um, glad that it's over because I have a debate in my head on what I'm going to read next. I'm going to read either My Dark Vanessa by Elizabeth Kate, Kate Elizabeth Russell or Hostage. And I can't remember the lady's name, Claire McIntosh. I don't know which one I'm going to read yet. I'm going to get some synopsis. I'm also going to get some um, reviews, check out the reviews, and then go from there. So I'll be back in a little bit once I've decided what book I am going to read. Hey guys, so it has been an amount of time since we have last spoke. Obviously, I never told you what book I was going to read, and that was purely because. I read the first page and before I knew it, days have gone past and I've just finished it. That book was my dad, Vanessa. Oof. That was a tough read. That was such a tough read. Uh, it's, if, you, if you know what the book's about, it's basically about a underage student. Sorry. A student who has basically starts a sexual relationship with the, her professor. She's like 14, 15. 15. She's 15. And the relationship goes from like 15 to like 20-ish. <sighs> Some parts were rough. It's incredibly weird. Like, I have no words. I, I do not understand how incredible this book was. I, uh, I'm I'm speechless. I've never read I've never read a book like that, and I don't think I'm going to for such a long time. Elizabeth Kate Russell did an incredible job. I need to read every single one of her book from now on. And yeah. Uh, as you can imagine, I gave it five stars. The characters were amazing. The scenes, it would just, they were, the, the, this book made me so uncomfortable to the point where I had to physically stop reading it at one point and I had to take a break for like a few hours because this, there was a scene, I don't know if it was one of the sexual scenes or what, but it was so graphic and so... Mm. that it it made me feel very sick and the professor is such a manipulative evil nasty man and Vanessa herself she's such a complex interesting complete character like you need to get them some characters that are like just 2D they're kind of flat they're just uh, Vanessa was off the page, she was gone. She was 3D, 4D character. Uh, yeah, speechless by it. Incredibly written. Incredible. I don't understand how she wrote that. But yeah, five stars. This book is my favourite book of 2024 so far that I've read. Favourite. That's it. No other words. Favourite. Like... I just don't understand how she read that, how she wrote that rather. And yeah, I absorbed that book so goddamn fast. It was amazing. So yeah, 
Now I'm going to have to work out which book I am going to read next. So give me a second or a minute and I'll be back with you. Hey guys, so it's been a couple of days since I've last updated you. I'll admit it is very late. It is past midnight on Thursday the 14th. Let me just double check. The 13th. Thursday the 13th of June and I have a small reading update for you because I've got nothing else to update you with. I am 206 pages in this. It's Billy Connolly's Rambling Man and it's basically his life on the road. Um, the man can do nothing wrong in my eyes and reading this has made me fall in love with him that little bit more. It's Billy Connolly, so it's funny, heartwarming, endearing. It's just basically a written down version of his voice and it is absolutely perfect. I'm enjoying this book so much. That's it's just basically little stories that you don't really know about what happened to him, let's say on tour, or when he does his little like adventures around the world. And yeah, it's great fun. Like I said, I'm about 66% of the way through. So I'm on page 205. There's 306 pages. And I started that like, I think I started this like Tuesday night. So I've basically read 206 pages, 205 pages in like 24 hours. And it's, it's fantastic. It's a great book. I love it. What the hell's going on with this? I need a shave. Anyway, sorry, carry on. But yeah, like I said, great book, fantastic writing. And yeah, I just thought I would give you a bit of an update regarding that. Um, my back seems to be a little bit better. I don't know if I told you, but I am back. I am off work currently with a spinal injury. Uh, that's my facet joints in my back. They've been injured. So, yeah, I've been in a little bit of pain. Hopefully, not that. Hopefully, it's getting better. Because I can't really take any um, uh, painkillers to help it. They said that the busy nothing's going to work and just basically to do exercises, uh, which I have been doing, but it just feels like they're not going, it's not going great. But at the same time, though, I need to go back to work because I need as much money as I can. Which is great, unfortunately. So I am debating in my head whether to go back tomorrow, which will be Friday. Or start on Monday. I just don't know yet. I'll have to work something out. I'm also thinking about doing another type of book challenge where we keep reading books in a vlog until I get a five star see but then I'm also debating because I hand out five stars quite often well not quite often but I do hand out and I'm more freely with my five stars let's just say that and I think I need to be a bit more stricter I don't really know what I absolutely love in a book so I think I need to figure that out before I do that. I would like to do it like a little kind of moment like that. Um, I'll just I'll figure something out because I know I want to do I want to do more videos because I don't think I do enough on YouTube. So yeah, I want to keep on reading this. I want to try and get maybe another chapter done in tonight. That would be fantastic. And I will update you when I have an update. Hey guys. I just thought I would come on and give you one last update. And we're going to end this video. Okay, so. I have finished this book. Oh, it was so funny. So amazing. So insightful to him as well. Um, yeah, there's not much else to say on this. I give it four stars. 
the stories that he told were amazing. Um, I'd watched some of his travel shows over the years and the little stories that he tells in between them are so insightful, so funny. I mean, it's him. He talks a lot about him being on stage. Little things that have happened to him whilst he's been on stage as well. Uh, as you can imagine, as it is Billy Connolly's being a little bit naughty as well. And yeah, I didn't show you this, but he got spread edges. Like, I've just noticed it. Which is weird because I've, I've just read a 300 page book, just noticed that they are spread edges. And yeah. I said four stars, fantastic book. And I am going to end my vlog here. I know it's been a bit longer than a week. It's been nearly eight, nine days. But yeah, I'm going to end it here. And then I'm immediately going to start on next week's vlog because I've got a few more books that I want to read. So thank you very much for watching. I'm going to link my wish list down there so you can have a look at the books that I want to get and tell me if they're worth my time. And I shall see you in the next one, my guys. Bye.